Patrick recording another video on the Ask Patrick series. This question is asked by S.K. Prajapati. The question is that uh, how do we know a question that we are following during practice is can come in the exam or not come in the exam, like the cat in the jack. To elaborate, the basic idea is there are a lot of questions floating around, both in the books, on social media forums, in the mocks, etc. And a lot of difficult sums. And a lot of these sums may not come in the exam or could be out of scope of, you know, CAT. How do we identify that and leave it? So normally if you look at the CAT questions that have come in the examination, they're basically based on the school level concepts. I mean, everything that is coming in the exam is basically school level concept because it is a common exam for all the students, right? From students from the arts background or commerce. So nothing beyond the school level is normally coming in the exam. For example, you may not expect derivative or integration to come in the exam because it's normally covered in the 11 and 12 standard, which will give you unfair advantage for engineers, which is what is they try to nullify. Or anything, like there are a lot of theorem based questions which are there, which is purely based on theorem. A question that is like for math theorem, you apply, you get the answer. But a CAD question is normally make you think, it makes you think. Therefore, a question will never be based on directly on a formula. So all this format theorem and other theorems are useless because that's not what they expect to remember. So two things that you should remember. One, questions will not be based on beyond 10 standard syllabus. So up to 10 standards, what is expected to come? And second, questions will not be based on a direct formula where you put a formula and get the answer. So any concepts that you come across which is not covered in the school, like Chinese, format, and I've heard so many different numbers, are not expected to come here. Like or any com you know complicated formulae which sums are only based on a formula are not going to come in the exam. So it makes sense to focus on your school syllabus as such when you're looking at the exam. If you look, if you feel that you've covered that in school, it can come in the examination. If you feel you have not covered it in the school, then you can skip it. That's perfectly all right on that aspect. So there are a few topics like maybe logs and all, which some students might not have covered it. So they may come in the exam because it has been coming along. But apart from logs, I don't see any great topic. Even the function topic that comes in the exam is normally pure substitutions and based on a school level, nothing beyond that. Nothing which is very difficult. So I expect people not to leave topics like functions or logs because they're normally quite simple and easy to understand and the questions that come in the exam are also easy. So again, repeating, focus on your school level syllabus, ignore anything which is beyond your school level, and ignore which is anything which has very complicated formulas, etc. I mean, a lot of theorems, etc. So whenever you come up with a difficult sum, you're not able to solve, look at the solution. If you feel a concept which you've never seen before, completely skip it. May not be required at all. But if you feel a concept which you've done before, but you're not being able to apply, then go ahead, try to solve and see if it works. Hope it helps. Thank you.